Brr, it was a little chilly this morning here in Colorado. I think it was like 22 degrees, so feels good to be back down here making a video for you guys. Anyways, hey everybody, hope all is well. My name is Jamie Fenn, and in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to animate the aspect ratios of your video. You may also know this as output blanking in DaVinci Resolve or the letterbox effect. And it looks a little something like this. But don't get left behind on the road. Now I don't really know what to call this effect. It's somewhat of a visual effect, but it can also be used as a transition. I have seen it where people are vlogging around or they're sitting in their studio and they talk about how epic of a trip they just had. And then those black bars come in and it kind of notifies the viewers that some epic B-roll footage is coming. And real quick before we get started, I noticed that you guys are watching my videos, but you're not subscribed. So if you haven't done that already, please do so. I'd really appreciate it. And turn on notifications so you guys know when I upload new videos. All right, so let's get started. There's a couple ways you can do it, but I'm gonna show you the easiest way. So the first thing we wanna do is find the place where we wanna kind of do this effect. So I'm gonna go from my talking head in the studio to this bass jumper. So the first thing I wanna do is come up to the effects library, go under toolbox and click on effects and drag the adjustment clip over the place that I want to do this effect. So then we want to then figure out what we want our aspect ratio to be. I'm gonna do 2.4 just to keep it easy. So I'm gonna bring up my calculator. I'm gonna do 1920 divided by 2.4, great. Now I'm gonna do 1080 minus 800, which gives us 280, and then we're gonna divide that by two. And that's how much we need to crop on the top and the bottom to get a 2.4 aspect ratio. So I'm gonna come over to the adjustment clip and I'm gonna start the effect of the beginning of the adjustment clip. So I'm gonna come over here to the inspector and I'm gonna to go to crop top, click on the keyframe, and then I'm gonna click on the crop bottom. These are the keyframe buttons here. Then I'm gonna to drag to the place where I want this to be in full effect. Then I'm gonna come in here and type 140. And now we have the effect. What's cool you can do is come into the adjustment clip and click on this icon right here, which will bring up your adjustments for that specific keyframing that you did. Over here on the left, you have some options. The options are what you basically keyframed. So you have crop top and crop bottom. If you wanna make some you know, quick adjustments, you can click on the point of where it keyframes and you can click on each one of these and kind of change how you want the effect to happen. So if you want it to kind of ease in, you can do something like that on both the keyframes. And then say if you want to stop this effect, you can actually come back in here, click on the keyframes, and then come to the point where you want the effect to stop happening. Keyframe again, and then put this back to zero. So now we have that. And then end of B-roll, you can open it up like that. And you can adjust these to be super quick or super fast. Like I said, you can click on the keyframes and kind of adjust if they, you know, kind of ease in or ease out. Hey, thank you so much for watching up until this point. If you guys want to watch more videos, check out this playlist right here. There's a ton of awesome visual effects, color grading and audio processing videos that I've created. And, you know, comment on them and let me know what you think. And until next time, I will see you later. Don't get left behind on the road.